Hi, in this video, we will be discussing derivatives of exponential functions. The question goes, given that y equals to h e to the power of x plus k divided by e to the power of 2x, and that d square y over dx square minus away 2 times of dy over dx equals to e to the power of x plus 2e to the power of negative 2x. Find the value of each of the constants h and k. And that's a 4 marks question. You might want to pause this video to give this question a try and when you're ready, keep watching. So over here in this question, we are given an equation and we know that this is the second order derivative of y and this is the first order derivative of y. And in this case, it involves exponential function of e to the power of x. So first thing first, before we dive straight into the differentiation, we might want to convert this into a single line. In other words, converting this fraction into a single line. So using our negative indices rule, negative indices rule, in our elementary mathematics, 1 over a to the power of n should therefore give us a to the power of negative n. So 1 over a to the power of n, if it's at the bottom, I want to flip it to the top, I just have to include a negative to the power. So y equals to h e to the power of x plus k over e to the power of 2x. We can then convert into h e to the power of x plus k e to the power of negative 2x. In this case, the bottom part of e to the power of 2x can be shifted to the top to become a e to the power of negative 2x because of this formula. Before we go straight into our differentiation, let's do a quick recap of the basic differentiations. So first thing first, differentiation of power functions. By differentiation of power functions, d over dx, x to the power of n. Differentiating x to the power of n with respect to x should therefore give us nx to the power of n minus 1. So bring down power of n in this case. Bring down power of n, power minus 1. Next, we can also revise on our different derivatives of e to the power of x. So this one is a very basic formula. So differentiating d over dx Differentiating e to the power of x with respect to x in this case should therefore give us the same result, e to the power of x. So this is a quick formula. And lastly, before we can do our differentiation, let's go on to the derivative of e to the power of fx, where fx is a function in this case. So d over dx, e to the power of fx. So over here, differentiating e to the power fx with respect to x, where fx is a function. So this function can be in any equation in this case. It can be a linear equation in this case. So over here, differentiating e to the power fx, what we do now is that we have to first copy down the same thing, multiply by the first order derivative result of fx, which in this case, I'm going to indicate as f prime of x, f prime of x. So over here, differentiating e to the power of fx, so the power of fx will remain in this case. So let me just highlight with a common color in this case. So what we do here is to copy down the same thing, fx. First thing, so the power of fx, this is the original power in this case, fx. And over here, f prime of x refers to the first order derivative result of the original power of fx in this case. So let me use it in another color, green. So differentiating e to the power of fx will therefore give us e to the power of fx multiplied by f prime of x. f prime of x refers to the first order differentiation result of the yellow color fx. So now we can then go through the first order derivative function of y, this y. So if you're going to do a dy over dx, dy over dx, 
Differentiating h e to the power of x using this formula on the right side should therefore give us h e to the power of x. It's the same thing. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to differentiate this part here. When we differentiate this part, we might want to look at this derivative of e to the power of fx in this case. So over here, the fx refers to the negative 2x. So let me just highlight in yellow in this case. So this is the original power fx, negative 2x. So over here, what we did was to differentiate this, we basically copy down the exact same form. So let me just copy down the exact same form like this. Multiply by the derivative result of the power in this case. So the derivative result of the power in this case, differentiate negative 2x should actually give us a negative 2. All right, should actually give us a negative 2. So why is that so? If you recall what we did just now, the differentiation of power functions. So you bring down power. So bring down power, power of 1, bring down power. 1 times negative 2 should therefore give us a negative 2. Power minus 1. Power minus 1, power of 1 minus 1 is 0. So therefore, this is a negative 2. So once we have our dy dx, maybe it's time to rearrange it nicer. So dy dx in this case, h e to the power of x. So let's just shift this negative 2 to the front to therefore give us a negative 2 k e to the power of negative 2 x. Like this. So not only dy dx, we also require a d2y dx square. So d2y dx square. So let's do a d2y or d square y dx square. So d square y dx square is basically a differentiation of your dy dx. So differentiating h e to the power x will technically remain it to be the same. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to differentiate this part. To differentiate this part, we need to use back the same original formula. So take note here, the power still remains to be a negative 2x. So the power still remains to be a negative 2x like this. So what happens is that I'm going to copy down this thing because when we differentiate e to the power of fx, we basically copy it down first. So we copy down the exact same form. Multiply by the differentiation result of the power. So the differentiation result of the power differentiate negative 2x is once again negative 2. So the green is the differentiation result of the power of yellow in this case. Combining them and expressing it should therefore give us h e to the power of x, in this case plus 4k, e to the power of negative 2x. Now with your dy dx to be this and your d2y dx square, or d square y dx square, we can then replace into this equation on the left, and we should get a result, and the result we would then compare against the right side in order to solve for the constant h and k. So that's the whole general idea. So over here, what we're going to do is we're going to do it like this. So d2 y dx square, d2 y dx square, minus away 2 times of dy dx, so minus away 2 times of dy over dx. So I'm going to do a substitution like this. So d2y dx square refers to h e to the power of this thing. So let me just copy down this and make it another color. So it's for your easy referencing like this. So this is your d2y dx square. All right, this is your d2y dx square over here. And your dy dx over here, so your dy dx, dy dx. So what we're going to do is, once again, we're going to apply the same technique, and that is to substitute everything right inside like this. So this is your dy dx. I'm going to copy down this. So over here, minus away 2 times, minus away 2 times of dy dx like this. We will then be able to simplify this whole thing. Okay, so h e to the power of x minus away 2 times of h e to the power of x in this case should therefore give us a minus 1, 1 minus 2, therefore give us a minus h e to the power of x. So this is a plus 4 k e to the power of negative 2 x versus a negative 2 times a negative 2 is a positive 4, so that would therefore give us a 8 k 
okay e to the power of negative 2x so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a quick comparison for this part here let me highlight in another color against the original question which is this so over here we can clearly tell that um, h a negative h is a 1 by comparison and 8k is a 2 by the direct comparisons so let me just finish up this question by comparison negative h is equal to 1 so why is that so because there is a so-called coefficient of e to the power of x so the so-called coefficient of e to the power of x in the original question is a 1 so negative h equals to 1 giving us the result of h equals to negative 1 similarly 8k e to the power of negative 2x the coefficient of e to the power of negative 2x is actually 8k in our answer and over here in the original statements the coefficient of e to the power of negative 2x is a 2 so 8k equals to 2 8k equals to 2 giving us a result of k to be equal to a quarter so these are the final answers h is a negative one and k is a one quarter